Abdullah says, what is the punishment and expiation for adultery, zina? Well, as for the punishment, there is a prescribed punishment in this life, and there is a prescribed punishment in the hereafter. Without doubt, fornication and adultery is one of the heinous and major sins in Islam. And Allah Azza wa Jal associated zina with shirk and murder, as in Surah Al-Furqan. However, the punishment differs. So if a person fornicates, this means that he is not married and was not married before. And this is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life, they're considered to be virgins. Even if they committed adultery or fornication many times, still, they st they're still classified as virgin. Because in Islam we have virgin and we have thayyib. A thayyib is a woman, usually a person, who is either married, has been married, whether divorced, widowed, or still married. He's considered to be a thayyib. In Islam, if a virgin commits fornication, and that person, he or she, are caught, or is caught, red-handed, and red-handed means that four male Muslim witnesses saw the actual act and they can graphically describe what they had seen. Specifically in detail. Or a person confesses. So it's one of the two. We don't refer to DNA. We don't believe in video footage. It has to be four eyewitnesses, male and Muslims, or a confession. So if a person was caught red-handed, his punishment would be to be flogged a hundred lashes. And this is only for a virgin. But if a person is not a virgin, a person is a thayyib, someone who is married or was previously married, divorced or widowed, then this person, if he or she commits adultery, the punishment, if caught red-handed, again with four witnesses or a confession, is to be stoned till death. And this is the only sin in Islam that the punishment is to stone. And nowadays, a lot of, not a lot, but most Muslim countries refer to uh, uh, execution, their normal ways of execution through uh, decapitating or beheading that uh, criminal one would say, isn't stoning barbaric? The answer is no, because the one who ob ob uh, mandated it is Allah Azza wa Jal. So Allah is the most merciful and he knows what's best, not for these two who committed this heinous sin, rather for the whole of the community, so that chastity would prevail instead of having men and women run around after one another. And stoning is not a first in Islam. If you open the Old Testament in the Bible, you will find it filled with stoning for many, many sins. So if a bull attacks a man, the bull is stoned to death. If 
a man fornicates with the daughter of the priest, they're stoned to death. If a man insults the king, he's stoned to death. If a person is not obedient to his parents, the elders take him to the outskirts of uh, uh, the city and they stone him to death and so on. In Islam, it's the only heinous sin that is punished by stoning and Allah Azza wa knows best 